So for today's video, I wanted to do a everyday makeup look or an updated routine of what I've been doing lately. Um, I really like this makeup because I feel like it doesn't look like too out there. It's still kind of like over here on the natural side. But um, it looks put together, it looks fresh, and I feel like it lasts a pretty long time uh, with the products that I use all put together. So if you want to see how I achieve this everyday makeup look, make sure you keep on watching. But before we keep watching, don't forget to subscribe down below for more makeup videos, lifestyle videos, um, clothing videos, etc. So check out my other videos. So without any further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started skin moisturize and everything so for primer i'm going to be using the kiehl's ultra facial moisturizer just so i can get extra moisture in my skin i've been dying to get my hands on that primer the cover effects grip on primer or something like that but it's like sold out everywhere so Thanks, Nikki. Just kidding. <sighs> no, but I'm sure it's because Nikki Tutorials like raves about it. If I'm feeling a little bit dry or um, then I'll go in with my Hangover um, RX Primer. But if I'm feeling just fine, kind of go between these two primers. This is the Brighter Days by Tarte. And then this is my favorite primer ever, the No Pores um, Luminizer, just so I can diminish my pores like slightly this uh primer with the foundation that i'm gonna wear oh my god i love the combo like it looks so nice i like it i've been liking it for maybe like a year uh this combination and i still haven't changed my thoughts and now um i'm ready for foundation the foundation that i'm using today is a peach perfect foundation i've been Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, this foundation is kind of matte, and then it just kind of gets dewy throughout the day. Not, like, super noticeable, but you could see that it gets, like, um... But, I mean, as someone who has combination skin, like, it does get kind of oily. But I feel like it does an okay job controlling my oils. Um, at least with the products that I use, I feel like it does control them pretty well. I've been like testing some foundations to see which one's a lot most long wearing for school because when I go to school I wear makeup for like a long time. Um, I usually put my makeup on like from 9 a.m. and then I don't take it off till like 10 p.m. so it is a very long period of time but I feel like this one is the one that looks the best and it says it's oil free in a 14 hour wear which I feel like it's true like this make this foundation looks very it's looking as fresh as it possibly can and I mean I go to school so like I'm walking on campus and you know like it's it's not a good time you know having to walk everywhere and I feel like this foundation doesn't really break up on me I'm not gonna put any on my forehead because I'm gonna wear a hat and I don't want to get make, get it full of makeup so I'm sorry if it bothers you but I'm not gonna wear any on my forehead so now with the brush I'm just gonna kind of buff it out lately I've been liking how at least with this brush, I really like it. This is a ColourPop um, F15. It's the foundation one, but I really, really like how this buffs out my foundation. So. I would say it's like medium coverage. You can build it up, but I feel like it looks fine just with the medium coverage and then just build it up with your concealer. You don't want to cake it up. You want to use as little as possible but still a good amount you know what i mean on to concealer so for concealer i've been loving the uh, born this way and the shade natural beige and then obviously on days where i don't wear um my hat i will put it here just a tinsy bit of the tarte shape tape because uh it just like right here not so I add it only because the Tarte Shape Tape really controls my oils, so I feel like it really does make my makeup stay on longer. Yeah. 
but if you're dry i feel like the born this way does justice to you but if you're a little bit on the oily side then i i would recommend the tarte shape tape coverage so now what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna just be cream contouring but um i'm pretty much just gonna be using these two uh, this is the elf camel concealer so i like to use both of them because i like the cool tone of this one as you can see um and then um let me just do this one first and then i just like this one because i love the formula of this for cream contouring and i just feel like it helps the other one blend better So pretty much that's just how I contour and I feel like it looks super, super natural. And for my nose, I'm going to be using this one. The um, This one's in the shade Where's Walnut. Um, and I'm just going to be also connecting it to my eyebrow. I find that doing this, like I had never done that before with my cream, with my um, nose contour. And I feel like it makes a hell of a difference. Like I feel like now my nose look really snatched so if you've never tried that try connecting connecting it to your eyebrow and it, it it really does make it look smaller i mean as small as i can make this nose um look looks a little too harsh but once i put put on powder um it's gonna look more natural so i'm just gonna put some down here and then Kind of like a button. I'm trying to go for that button nose even though it's almost impossible with my nose. I'm gonna use some of this e.l.f. concealer on the sides. Blend it out with whatever um, is left. Just what I'm going to be doing is pretty much contouring my lids and then just my nose. I'm going to zoom you in just like this much and then just show you kind of what I do. So what I'm using is this bronzer right here. It is a sculpting bronzer. So it's super dark. Look at the Tantastic and look how dark this one is. I love it. Because it is actually like a sculpting, uh, sculpting powder. However, I've never seen this. Where did I buy this? I'm pretty sure I bought this at Walmart, but I'm not like a hundred percent sure. And then I've tried to look for it on Ulta, and there's one that's called Brazilian um, Bronzer, but I'm not sure if it's this one because I mean it's not the same. This is called sculpting, like it doesn't say anything about like Brazilian, like Bra Bra Brazilian Bronze or something like that. So I don't know, but this is the sculpting one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab just a little bit and then get rid of the excess and then just put some on the back of my hand and then go in. So I'm going to go as high as I can. Same on the other side. You do want to use a very, very light hand. I know this looks super harsh, but give me one second. So now with my sponge, whatever is left, I'm just going to be um, going over my nose just so it can look as blended as possible. I've been using this super light concealer. Um, this is from e.l.f. And this is in the shade uh, Medium Peach. It's literally white on me. Like, literally white be just carving my eyebrows with this concealer and then yeah pull it down if you will now um with just any bronzer shade a uh, lighter bronzer just gonna use the Tantastic and I'm just gonna blend out that um, concealer with the rest of the contouring. Really liking and using lately it's this one right here. It is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. Now, if you're at medium skin tone like me and lighter, definitely go with the translucent because I do have the banana powder and it does darken up 
and it does darken my um my face like a lot so yeah if you're a medium just go with a translucent yeah, that's what it looks like <gasps> i just dropped the powder all over my products that's just great Put some setting spray, um, the Morphe setting spray, just so it can melt all those powders um, that I have on my face. And then while that is drying, I just start uh, doing my brows. So, pencil. So I brush them down. Start highlighting before my um, setting spray really dries. So I'm just using the Maybelline, um, this one, the um, Molten Gold Master Chrome, whatever. A little bit of this one, the Wet n Wild Precious Petals. And then I'm going to go ahead and use some bronzer so I'm gonna be using my um as you can see I feel pretty contoured like sometimes when I don't apply too much cream contour I'll be bold enough to um go in with this one but I feel like I don't need it because if not it's gonna look too muddy if I do for blush I'm gonna be going in with this Anastasia blush trio this is in the shade Peachy Love, and I'm going to go in uh, with these two right here, uh, which is ne Nectarine and Ginger. Sometimes I do all three. I mean, they're all so pretty. I just can't choose. So I'm just going to buff everything out. And then I'm just gonna set it. I just move on to uh, my eyeliner. I'll be doing something super simple, like literally just a straight line. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop um, brow gel. They now have colors, and I am in the shade dark brown. But I didn't fill in at the top. And with the ColourPop Brow Boss uh, pencil, this one's in the shade Ash Brown. I'm gonna go in with my brow powder. Um, I'm just going in just so I can set um, like the gel and then like the pencil and it can last a little bit longer. Okay, so now I'm just going to do mascara and I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal uh, Lash Paradise and also the Calippa. Sorry, I already have my hat on. You're like, uh what's going on what I'm gonna do is I just need lips so I sometimes just leave them bare sometimes where this one is from Colourpop it is in the shade cat love and it's a velvet blur so I'm just gonna put a little bit just like a light wash of it and then this is the final look that concludes this video i hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up i'd highly appreciate it and i want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and hopefully i can see you on the next one bye